guys.
The most recent development in Nigeria today is the elections. We heard about it on radio, we watched it on television, it was on billboards, it was on newspapers everywhere. On today's show, we want to see politics from the view of the teenagers. Today's topic is teens and politics. You're welcome to Teens Parliament. I'm your host, Ramtefa Angela Lua. And with me are my wonderful parliamentarians, William Steyo and Kendo Williams. Okay, let's hear what the teens out there have to say about politics. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. This can be defined as a process whereby people gather to form political parties in order to elect a leader into position. Politics is governance. Politics is a profession of conducting political affairs. Politics involves the governing body of a state, how election is being organized, both people that are voting and people that are to be voted for. Activities associated with running the government of a country. Teenagers should be allowed to go into politics. I think teenagers should not be involved in politics. I think it's okay by me if teenagers are allowed to vote that teenagers below the age of 18 are allowed to vote and be voted for teens shouldn't participate in politics because with their level of understanding and education their experience is not enough experience they say is the best teacher our parents are our guardians and i think they should vote instead of us i think it's okay for teenagers to be involved in politics because i think that at their age, they are sensible enough to make their own choices. Teenagers should not be allowed to vote because of the constitution. Because the constitution said anybody that is below 18 should not vote. So even they should not even vote because of the violence during the during the election at the polling booth. When we have teenagers going into politics, they are going to be able to um, govern well and have a lot of um, time to govern. They'll be able to know what other teenagers want, their, like their educational needs, their social needs, and all other needs that they really want, but they are not able to say because of the other people that are in um, politics. My own view of teenagers being engaged in politics is no, because as a teenager, you have to face your studies and not to go to polling booth or trying to vote, because if you go, if you're involved in that, it's called underage voting, and underage voting is against the Nigerian law. It's okay for the them also to contest elections, for them to be in government. Teens shouldn't participate in politics because it is dangerous. This politics is a dirty game. Like the voting place, people rig elections. Like they kill, they intimidate people. As teenagers, we can rule a state. We are intelligent, we are capable, we are energetic, we can do everything other adults can do even better than the adults. Even those who are old, that are governing us, they form good, they all form, they are not doing what is right. So you know, talk less of the teens, they can be easily be influenced by their family, their friends. From my own point of view, I don't think teenagers should vote because when they go to the polling booth, they might endanger their lives. There's usually violence, hoodlums and thugs everywhere trying to snatch ballot boxes. So I think it's going to affect them. So they should not go to vote. I think they should try teenagers and see what we can do. Teenagers should be given the right to vote and be voted for. I advise that you just stay at home and try to build yourself and encourage your parents to vote. Children shouldn't be put in danger because of politics. Politics is a very dirty game and teens shouldn't be allowed to participate in it. Teens Welcome back beautiful people. If you are just joining us, this is your favorite teens show, Teens Parliament. And we've been talking about politics, we've discussed politics and why teens aren't allowed to vote. I liked what that girl said. She said we should be allowed to vote, but do you I think strongly so? disagree with her. Why? Every vote counts. And if she votes for the wrong person, that one vote could make that bad person enter power. What the material? This is one the problem with this is the problem in Nigeria. You, you, and most citizens out there will complain about the government. There is no like, but you don't take a step in making that change. I agree with you, my sister. Go and vote. Go out there and vote. Make your voice heard. Listen, they keep telling us. Voice of the Weedy. The resounding voice of love and honor. The voice of the voiceless. There are millions of widows outside there that are suffering from neglect, homelessness, ill health, discrimination, name it, and death. They are just human beings like you and I. In my own little way, yes, I've been fighting for the rights of widows 
even for the past 17 years that it happened to me, I've been fighting. I've been telling them, be bold, be bold. If they want to take any of your husband's property, be bold. And vow, I told you, is a table for hope. Is a table for change. Is a table to tell us that we care. If we really care about each other, we will not be punishing deliberately. Vow from the diary of Adi Queen Adi Pelawat, in search of the right, love, and value of every woman. People think that when your husband is no more, they believe that you are going to be a beggar. It was not. I can tell you that. In fact, my landlord threw me out. Family did not show up. Nobody shows up. Even my own family did not show up. So emotionally, it was noisy. I had hypertension, I have insomnia. You can treat the sober, this kind of people. No matter who you are, it's like you are falling. And when you are falling like that, you have to make a lot of sacrifices. Widow that lost her husband. You know, that is not enough for the society. It's not enough. They will not want to see that. You know, the pain and the sorrow you are passing through. You know it's a difficult sport, economically and everything. I'll tell them eat. When they eat, whatever is remaining, sometimes I will eat. My daughter and I, we have to focus certain things for the sake of the boys in the school. When my husband dies, when I see a man and a woman wearing the same clothes, I will just go inside that when people see me outside, especially when I dress up and I drive my car, believe that yeah, this woman is a Yes, not knowing that. Hey, we are passing through. Can we call it hell? According to their tradition, I was kept in the room. For that seven days, I did not touch water. I didn't take my bed, only to eat, wash my hands. I was not allowed to go out, only to go to the toilet and come back and sit. Sit down on the mask. mask. The pain of looking here and there. You look here, you look there, you can't find your loved one again. <laughs> when my husband died, I was left with nothing except my clothes. I left the place with nothing. My husband's land was taken, properties were taken, but I still stood my ground to collect some. The celebration of strength, purpose, value, and virtue of womanhood. This is the voice of the reader. A must work true life experience of a woman of purpose and honor. Thou, the voice of the voiceless.
Monophonic vowel A. Phonic vowel A. 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 You can hear the sound at the beginning of these words. Insect. Insect. Ink. Ink. Igloo. Igloo. Good children. You did very well. Give yourself a super clap. Listen again and repeat after me. Insect. Insect. Ink. Ink. Igloo. Igloo. Very good children, you did very well. Give yourself another super clap. <laughs> now, with the aid of these rhymes, you will be able to say sound A. Again and again. Listen and repeat after me. Besides the igloo sits the pig. It is a very big, big idea. The pig in my Did you hear sound A? Listen again and repeat the rhyme after me. Five, the eight, you see, the pig, you see.